Good evening, everybody. It's Jeff Kessinger with the Christian County Headliner News. I'm at Tiger Stadium in Ozark, where OHS got its shot at Webb City tonight. The unbeaten Cardinals are ranked number one in class four, and they got out of here with a 41 to 10 win tonight. Ozark got on the board first. A 37 yard field goal by Chandler Doss late in the first quarter made it three nothing Tigers. But after holding the cards in check for two possessions, Webb City got onto the board with a long touchdown run of their own. It was Durand Henderson from 48 yards out. That made it 6-3 to three after one quarter. Not a bad start for Ozark at all. But the Cardinals made it very difficult on the Tigers tonight. Watch here a great defensive play as Danny Carr rolls out, lofts the ball for his receiver, but Terrell Kabala makes a leaping interception. That set up another touchdown run by Henderson. And the Cardinals were pretty good on offense too. Quarterback Cash Link is going to lob this ball into the corner of the end zone for Alex Gaskell, who makes the leaping catch. Not a whole lot Ozark could do defensively against that one. Webb City was up 21-3 at the break. Good football team, great defense right there. Uh, you know, we'd love to have scored right off the bat. We got points on the board, uh, which was good. But you know that you, know, you can't squander any opportunities against them just because they, they have that ability. They show, I thought our defense, um, you know, battled. Uh, right there, they did show some of their explosiveness a couple times. That's like when you miss one, uh, they can show you that they've got some speed, uh, and, and they definitely do. But uh, you know. Ozark kept grinding, though. The Tigers came out in the third quarter. Danny Carr goes to Skyler LeVay for 22 yards on the first down. Uh, that got the Ozark Tiger offense moving. Very next play. Carr is going to keep it himself, watches he rolls right on the option, makes a great read, and cuts up field for eight yards. And that set up this, the Tigers touchdown on the night. Preston Carson takes the toss, gets a block, and then powers his way into the end zone. That made it 35, or 28 to 10 rather, and that was as close as those are going to be. Generally trying to build on to where we're at, you know, this um, week to week, we've, we've hit adversity and, and kind of go through and getting guys and stepping up in roles um, and growing them and they're growing as a team. You know, we, we're, um, you know, having like we've talked about it early in the year, kind of going through our own journey. And this is this is a, been a, a, a group here where we've had to fight and fight and fight ourselves on in adversity and, you know, and try to, to overcome those things. And, and coming up against a great team like this is another uh, opportunity for us to bond together I uh, continue to, to grow ourselves and, um, you know, and ultimately, as we talked about, trying to fight to go get another football game here, you know, in those districts and it's wide open and, and that's where we put our purpose and our focus at is let's go get another home game here. Ozark now three and four on the season and as Coach DePay mentioned, uh, the Tigers are right in the mix to get a, a home playoff game during the district tournament. They're also pretty close to being able to get one of the top two seeds and take a bye. And that's because their district is wide open. Class 5 District 4 features Glendale, Lebanon, and Ozark at the top. Glendale last check was trailing Rolla 55 to 34. That was about 9.35 p.m. Lebanon went on the road and lost to Joplin tonight. The final score of that one was 35 to nothing. The benefit for Lebanon is Joplin is class six, so they'll get a boost in their points um, in the district standings. But Ozark, uh, since the two teams ahead of them lost, will probably stay in third place, but they're just a few points out. If they can have a good result next week and the week after that, they've got an opportunity to finish second, get a first round by, have a chance to heal and prepare, and then host at least one more game at Tiger Stadium this season. They will be on the road next week uh, against Nixa. That is Backyard Brawl 2017. BYB 2017 is the hashtag. Uh, the Eagles took a defeat tonight against Carthage. It was 46 to 14. Eagles now five and two. They've lost two in a row playing Webb City and Carthage. Uh, so they come in needing a win. Ozark comes in needing a win. It's already a great game anyway, and the stakes are pretty high for the two teams that are trying to get into position to stay in those top two spots, host a district playoff game. So it's going to be a fantastic night. We'll tell you a lot more about that in the coming week. Um, check ccheadliner.com. I'm going to head upstairs and get a story and photo gallery ready for you. We'll also have a video coming soon on Facebook from Alec McChesney. He was at the Knicks of Carthage game. And then we'll get his story and photos online as well. So thank you all so much for watching the video. Thank you for reading our stories. And we will talk to you again soon.